This is Mullen on the daily chart and prices are off roughly 20-25% today as they announced that they need more cash. No duh. Let's go to this article. So shares of Mullen stock are down by about 20% bringing its one month loss to 52%. Today the CEO David Macheri released a letter to shareholders after Mullen reverse split proposal in a ratio between 1 to 2 and 1 for 100 was approved at the company special meeting of stockholders that took place roughly a week ago. Michery acknowledged that including the reverse stock or split proposal in the meeting was an extremely hard decision in light of the company's enacting of a 1 for 25 and a 1 for 9 reverse split earlier this year. Mishiri also reiterated that he believes that the current price of Mullen stock does not reflect its value, citing the company's sales and deliveries and lawsuits against market manipulation. Mullen has a deadline of January 22, 2024 to close at or above $1 for 20 consecutive trading days. Mishiri added that the best chance for Mullen to achieve this is if it enacts a significant large reverse stock split. If Mullen is able to accomplish this requirement, it faces delisting from the NASDAQ. Now, earlier this, I think a month or two ago, uh, NASDAQ wrote a letter to Michelle and, uh, and Mullen saying that they were going to delist them. However, uh, Mullen and uh, David put in a, a reprieve to give them another shot. And so uh, NASDAQ gave them several more months to get the stock up to a dollar. Now over the course of this past year cumulatively Mullen has did a, a 1 for 250 or so reverse stock split and that is the limit that the NASDAQ allows you to do. So um, unfortunately Mishiri believes that another reverse split is in Mullen's best interest for, long, for the long term. Another reverse split will help Mullen regain compliance with NASDAQ's one dollar minimum bid requirement which will allow it to remain listed on the exchange and provided with funding opportunities. Alright, so the smart money is saying that it's pretty much over for uh, Mullen. Again, each time that they go out for capital, they're just diluting the current shareholder value. Um, and each time that they have done a reverse um, stock split shares have declined so those were opportunities to short right so most recently we had uh, this weekly sellers level which price never came back to um, however this daily sellers level at 35 cents price did come back to uh, and that was the opportunity to go short as your moving averages on the daily chart are still all pointing down and the last land is line in the sand was roughly at the 22 cent level and prices could not even get back to that level before the next leg down it's the same thing over and over again this was the recent most recent support and what happened when price pulled back it was a shorting opportunity so where does price go well can't go far much further we're already at nine cents uh, you get to zero and it's game over However, let's see if NASDAQ allows them to do another reverse stock split uh, in the coming days before uh, January 22nd, in which they become delisted. Now, if they become delisted, it's going to be even harder for them to raise capital. And if they have a hard time raising capital, then it's really going to be game over. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.